Hi guys and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 here with Ajax and our Youth Academy Challenge. Um, so we're going to have a little look today at the youth prospects in comparison to some of the boys we want to move out. So for example, outgoing, I want to move out Neres. I don't, don't like him particularly, you know. So I want to move him out. <clears throat> I also want to move out Cassiera, who again, don't really like him. I just think him has been part of these a lot of players who are just kind of the same uh, Amin Yunus want to move him out as well actually let's get Amin Yunus transfer listed right away um, get some of this hold on I'm going to be missing the bottom half of my screen there we go uh, offer Amin Yunus to clubs so he's listed I'm going to do the same with Cassiera try and get them out he's worth what's he worth 1.2 Matteo Cassiera yeah he's not worth a lot of money at all they paid 4.7 as well uh, I don't think he's a bad player by the way I just because of the Youth Academy challenge and all that want rid uh, they've literally just signed this Dennis Johnson so there's no way we're going to be able to shift him but we'll try and loan him out hopefully we can get somebody to take him as a key player on 100% of his wages I think Seem De Jong has just came back hasn't he yeah so we're not going to be able to shift him um, who else is here Hunter Lars the same David Neres I'd quite like to shift also Let's see what kind of offers we get for these boys. Cassiera would still have to pay 2.8k. It's just near the end of the world, I suppose. And Club Bruges would want to take him. He's worth 1.2. They're offering just below 1. Uh, let's just try and get 1.2. They're, they're going to give us 1.2. Fine, just get rid of him. It's just about trimming the fat. I'll try and get 6.5 for Neres. Yeah, they think that's acceptable. As well, it's about trimming the fat. How much of the money do we get? 90%. It doesn't really matter since we're not going to purchase anyone. But just curious. Uh, which makes me think that Amin Yunus is not going to attract any offers. Uh, no offers for Yunus or Dennis Johnson. Which is a damn shame, but there you go. Interest in Yunus is thought to be high. Bochum and Standard Liège want to buy him and Bordeaux want him on loan. Hopefully they make bids soon I really want to trim the fat in this squad and then you know I want to create gaps in the squad that I can plug young players into so we need to try and move players out before we can look at who we're going to promote up ideally a lot of these young players that we're going to promote will get game time early on it's just about it's just about getting that balance right because we still have expectations to meet here you know we could throw in a lot of youngsters get battered and get fired in November if we want but we need to do this in a kind of sensible way oh, Neres has rejected Milan great so we'll try and get a 6 million fee for him uh, his values went up for some reason wonder if that's because he rejected Milan and he looks like some sort of big shot uh, 4.3 from Wolfsburg are you kidding Let, let's let's try and get five and a half <sighs> uh, all of a sudden we're left we're left getting some crappy fee because he rejected Milan we're now getting four and a half when we were getting six and a half literally like two days ago um, there's a loan offer for Amin Yunus from Bordeaux I don't want that though I want him going permanently Benfica are in for Dolberg 13 million is an insult we're going to reject that Cassiera though is away to Club Bruges which is a nice start Dolberg wants an improved deal fine, he's a key player let's negotiate the contract he's currently on 9, he wants 23 will you settle for 20 and a 5 year deal he wants 22 let's go 21, there we go, new 5 year deal for Dolberg, obviously he won't be staying here that long when we get a big offer we will be letting him leave because he's not an academy boy We are going to be quite hard line about this, you know. Players who signed from here in Wien when they were like 16 still don't count. They have to really come through the youth intake. We're really just having a look. There we go. David Neres, of course, has agreed to go to Wolfsburg. Of course, he accepted the lower club's uh, contract. Uh, <laughs> and... 20% of it goes to the Brazilian club as well. Great. Nonetheless, we have got rid of him, so that's nice. What does that do for the wage budget? We are almost 300 grand under it. So, 
We've got rid of a few there. Vaclav Cherny. We're going to try and get him out on loan because he is a pretty good player. But he's never going to play for us, obviously, because he doesn't meet the requirements of being an academy boy. So we'll try and get him out on loan. Dennis Johnson, we're actually going to move to the B squad. We'll move Cherny to the B squad as well. Uh, Nick Virgiver is from Sparta, so we'll try and get him moved out as well. Basically, players who haven't even made the bench for those Champions League games, we can easily justify moving them out, I think. De Jong, we won't be able to because he's just rejoined. Savastano, we're going to use. He's going to be a potential left back. Uh, Serhis, obviously, we're going to use as well. He can go on the bench just now. And Orejuela has literally just been signed, so we're not going to be able to get rid of him. We will drop down to the B team, though, looking for a winger. And Shane Nunnally, the 18 year old Dutchman, is going to fit that requirement, so he moves up. And let's have a little look for somebody else. What about Gino Decker? Maybe not. He's 20 years of age already, actually, Gino Decker. Jurgen Hellenkamp. What the hell? Look at the amount of positions he can play. He can play right wing and centre back. Fair enough. He's actually relatively tall as well. Actually, do you know what? He could be a hell of a ball playing central defender. He's the 23rd best central defender in the squad. Huh. Decisions and concentration, pretty poor. Ditto with aggression, though. I don't think he's going to make it there. Could be a central midfielder, but we need to have a wee look at that as we go on. Yeah, there's some some good players here who unfortunately don't meet the requirement. Uh, now Lang, the Dutchman, does meet the requirement. A bit of under 19s. Anybody hiding down here? Maduro, the right back. I mean, their current ability is obviously going to be a lot lower. But Matalak Nauri, of course, is there, which, you know, we obviously moved him down there for, for obvious reasons. Um, Issam El Match, does he fit? No, he came from Vitizi, so he doesn't count. Uh, what about this young goalkeeper? Goski, does he count? Nope, he comes from Poland. Yeah, so we definitely need a goalkeeper to come through the ranks. None of our goalkeepers, unfortunately, fit what we're looking for. So we need to hope we get a good goalkeeper th coming through. Uh, Stuttgart are going to take Czerny on 100% of his wages as a rotational player. I will allow that. Offers made for Virgiver, 3.1 from Celtic. Accept that right away. Las Palmas, 950k, reject. Levante, 1.3, reject. Benfica will negotiate. Ditto Lazio, Atalanta. We're going to reject things that are just super low or like Everton ask us to pay some wages we'll reject all of them we'll reject Saint-Etienne and we'll negotiate with the rest so Atalanta will you give us 4 million say mm, they'll give us 3.5 I'll accept that which means Celtics now becomes rejected Lazio will you give us 4 I think they're going to give us the same as Atalanta did no they'll give us the 4 nice well, now Atalanta's becomes rejected and we'll see if Benfica will go higher than 4 well, let's make them pay 5 they have offered 3.6 uh, let's do 4 with 500k will they go with that an ultimate 4.5 they will which means Lazio has now become rejected as well uh, although I can't do that yet and in a second we'll be able to reject Lazio's and he will be going to Benfica Let's go in transfers. Virgiver, uh, Lazio reject, and hopefully we'll go for Benfica for that four and a half. And this is a lot of money coming in to invest in the infrastructure, you know, the youth setup, uh, youth facilities, and so forth, like we talked about in episode zero. Okay, some data analysis and things being recruited there. Don't really care about that at the moment. But it is almost game day against Heracles away from home to start the Eredivisie season. I mean, obviously, away at Sporting. Um, Savastano, Virgiver, and Sim de Jong not really able to play today. Oh, that's right, we get 12 subs. Interesting, Orihuela can come on the bench. He can go back there. Clivert moves down there. Surhuis, etc. Always like it to be arranged back to front positionally. Uh, Savastano can be on the bench as well. He can move up. 
there Shane Nunnally as well of course he can move up um, De Jong can go on the bench as well and I suppose we'll just throw Amin Yunus on the bench uh, just for the hell of it frankly just now so the squad though will remain the same it will be Onana, Veltman, Delight, Zifweek, Bird, Dykes, Van de Beek, Zayic, De Jong, Shoney and Dahlberg that will be the line up today I hope the youngsters at the back can actually cope with this their first Eredivisie game is a 3 it's a 4-3-3 of sorts 4-1-2-2-1 4-1-2-3 however you want to call it um, Heracles can be a tricky side actually they can be a bit of a dynamic side so it could be tough for us today but hopefully we get the job done we'll just in we'll tell the boys to get creative actually see if we can work our way through their defence with our nice slick passing packed stadium actually look at the crowd black and white shots everywhere today for Heracles it's going to be a bit of a tough fixture Azed Alkmaar out to an early lead away at PSV Eindhoven that's interesting Mitchell Dykes in the book early on here and Darry has a chance to whip in a free kick goes to the edge of the box it's actually nicked and it's shot off the bar Jesus I barely follow what was happening there and Veltman sweeps up for us an early early warning as Montero whips her in it's headed away well picked up by Dari Pelupesi Van den Buys Hardeveld and we've got away with that early that early scare it's almost 50-50 possession actually which is a surprise considering how much we dominated the Turkish side in terms of possession four shots to their three now um, Alkman actually went 2-0 up but Locadia has PSV back in that one and it's a very, very even game here. As Vitezi take the lead. Brian Linson. I don't know who these players are, by the way. I don't pretend to I don't pretend that I know. Um so nil nil half time. We've just had the better of the game statistically, but unfortunately, of course, Heracles were the main chance and we've created absolutely nothing at our end. So we're gonna have to passionately tell them to keep going and we can still win. Mitchell Dykes do we bring him off the bench? I think we bring him off eh, off the bench. We bring him off the park. Who will we put on for him though? We'll put Savastano on there. Why not? If he's going to be a big part for us, we'll bring him on. Casper Dahlberg is going to come off for Kaiser Huis. See how he gets on as a poacher. <coughs> by the way, some of these pronunciations could be absolutely brutal, by the way. Uh, I don't speak Dutch. So I'm just winging it. I've actually got double the number of shots and double the number on target uh, versus Heracles' numbers today but we've created absolutely nothing out of that despite my uh, instructions for them to get creative early on they clearly haven't done that nor have they in the second half right, we're going to have to push forward here 20 minutes left still at nothing each we're going to bring on Clivert for Frankie de Jong as we've done in the Champions League game so far but 15 minutes left it looks like absolutely nothing. We don't want to get too crazy with going gung-ho either. As Delight plays it to Zayec, can we get a late goal? Van de Beek now. <sighs> He's lost it. Will we concede a, great, a late goal? Duarte trying to play over the top. Good block though. And Van de Beek will pick her up. Zifweek to Zayec. Pokes her out wide. Savastano now. <sighs> Bit of a dodgy ball. Shoney does pick her up though. That's a Shoney into Kaiser Huis. Holds it up. Van de Beek got a man running on beyond. It's Clivert. Come on, wee man. Patrick Clivert. Oh, it's wide. Hey, Patrick Clivert. Justin Clivert. <laughs> but it is wide. There's a huge chance for the young man, and he has to do better. Now, here come Heracles the other way. Duarte picking it up, plays it inside to Peterson. Pokes it through. Huge chance. Good save, Andre Onana. Both sides have had a chance to nick it early on. Duarte whipping it in. Zayic has to defend this well. Loses it in the end. And we've managed to scramble that away. As Hardeveld goes back the way. Hopefully we've managed to survive that. But that little scare there. Although here they come. Peterson now moves it into the middle. He is offside. Thankfully it looks like a 0-0. Two minutes left. Nope. Castro's going to knock it long. Still a chance. It's headed on by Zifweek. Uh, Shoney flicks her on. Clivert now. Clivert's in again. Come on, young man. <sighs> no. No, you're down with a buried that, son. 
It's a lack of composure from the youth, which I suppose is to be expected at times. Zayec tees up Van de Beek, who po pokes it at goal, but Castro managed to hang on to it. And it will be nil-nil now on opening day. Disappointing start uh, for, the young, for the young team. As I say, Heracles can sometimes be tricky opposition, but it does hurt a little bit not to get off to a winning start. I suppose you would say the three at the back getting the clean sheet's good, but I'm going to tear them unlucky. I don't want them to get their heads down on opening day. Maybe we'll look at a formation that has a winger in the future, because we just couldn't create there, despite... Despite having a lot of shots, we just didn't create anything that was that was clear cut, you know. Um, we're now marching on towards the Sporting Lisbon game. The other games don't matter that much. Willem Tway beating Excelsior. Feyenoord now the champions at home against 20. I expect Feyenoord to win. Yeah, 4 nothing to Feyenoord over 20 there. Here in Veen beat Groningen. And Zwoli will play Roda to a 1 1 draw as we prepare for Sporting Lisbon. And by the way, I think Sporting Lisbon could hammer us and we could end up in the Europa League here. Uh, we we'll have to be prepared defensive positioning, which I think sounds pretty good. They're, they're a pretty damn good side, I must say. Patricio, Mateo, Martins, uh, Carvalho, Silva at left back. They've got a pretty good squad, you know. So we have to make sure we stand up to them. And it looks like Vaclav Cherny has rejected Stuttgart. Uh, has that? Yep, Cherny rejects loan offer from Stuttgart. Squad registration will be exactly the same. As we go to Portugal to take on Sporting now. This is going to be a tough, tough game. We're going to persist with the tactic we have at the moment. Uh, Shoney can't actually play today, but I think that means... De Jong will be able to come in for him. It does indeed. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think that's everybody that we want on the main bench. We should actually maybe create two benches. The first seven and then a positionally ranked five after that. I think that's how we are going to do it going forward. Uh, Frankie De Jong, inc incidentally, has been really poor. We'll bring on Clivert, who's been okay. Is he wanted on loan, I think? He's wanted actually, a couple of people want to buy him. But I think we're going to go with this. So that will be Onana, Veltman, Delight, Zifuik, Batbord, Dykes, Van de Beek, Zayec, Clivert, De Jong and Dolberg. Or, no actually, not Clivert. We're going to move Zayec up there. We'll put De Jong back into the midfield where he is more comfortable. And we'll try this. That's a 4-2-2-2 or a 4-4-2 of sorts from... Sporting today, passionately, were the underdogs in that suits us, cause an upset. Frankie de Jong and Casper Dolberg like the sounds of that. I'm just going to tell them, what will I tell them? Um, I just encourage them. As Backbird manages to nick the ball early, good man. And we are controlling possession up in the 70s for the opening five minutes. Dropping down now towards 60, but still controlling the ball in the early going of the game and Sporting Lisbon look knackered look at some of those players below 75% already and it's not even been 20 minutes but Akuna does have their corner whipped in Delight does well to get rid and he can chase it down as well possible counter on if he can dink this forward good ball to Backboard De Jong Van de Beek De Jong the other one De Jong the other one <laughs> Van de Beek quickly for Zayec and De Jong Van de Beek to the other de Jong now Dolberg keeps making some runs they need to play a bit more direct I think as if Week plays it to Mitchell Dykes that is a good ball inside to de Jong got a lot of players standing very narrow here de Jong, Van de Beek up to the other de Jong and Zayec we're working it very well here oh it's on to Seam de Jong he's in can he score he shoots across the keeper but Rui Patricio manages to save it a bit concerned about our lack of finishing you know a couple of times where we've got through in chances like that okay you say a good save by the keeper but how many times are we going to allow them to make a good save if you finish properly the keeper doesn't have any chance regardless of how good an effort he makes 
Titans were forced to go all the way back to Backbird from her own corner. Positive start though I suppose here, 25 minutes gone, Zayets to whip in now. Veltman goes after this, it's nodded away by Matteo and here comes William Carvalho on the break. Hits it long over the top for Podence. Our defenders are at sixes and sevens, he races in, he shoots and he hits the post. Heart in the mouth there, Gelson Martins though, delivers it back in, Podence is in there again, it's beyond him. And Backboard just brings him down, fair enough. Thankfully they don't manage to create anything out of their free kick. Here's Podence now, goes out wide to Gilson Martins. Can we pinch this off them? Martins going to whip this in, needs to be defended well. It is defended well by Zifwik. It's whipped in the other side. Akuna smashes it into the side netting. And Sporting Lisbon growing into the game now. Still 60% possession for ourselves, but they've had a couple of chances. As we're approaching half time here, it is still nothing each. Akuna with a corner though, Sporting. Is it a dagger to the heart before half time? It's whipped in, it is, it's Sedu Dumbia and it's a dagger straight through the heart before half time. It's 1-0 to Sporting. And this is what happens when we don't take our chance. De Jong had a clear cut chance, didn't he finish? And we find ourselves one down now. Right, let's change this up a little bit. Uh, assertive, I expect to see much better. Frankie De Jong demotivated, it's fine, you're coming off anyway. 4-2-3-1 wide. Zayech can play off the right hand side I believe as an inside forward, he sure can. Uh, Delight and Veltman will be at the back, Dykes back board will be the full backs. Uh, Seem de Jong in behind Dahlberg who will be a complete forward. Uh, Zifwik will come off for a left winger, said left winger will be Justin Clivert who will play just as an attacking winger. Uh, Seem de Jong likes to be a shadow striker, interesting. Dahlberg can drop to the support duty then. Van de Beek will play deep line playmaker support. Frankie de Jong will come off for Karel Eating, would you believe, who will be an advanced playmaker support. Given the youth a chance, we'll tell him to press forward here. Karel Eating needs to step up here and show me something, as does uh, young Clivert. Dahlberg finding Zayech now playing as an inside forward. Plays it to Eating, Dahlberg. De Jong going beyond Dahlberg shoots and it's a good save Patricio but 17 seconds into the new formation we've already created something Dahlberg now races by Coates to Dykes Mitchell Dykes' delivery very loopy Matteo away Van de Beek hits it in the first time volley over the bar it's a good opening 5 minutes for the second half though Patricio will take the goal kick from that Something more to come, goes very long with it, should be the defenders you'd think. Podence is up there for it, but it's well away by Veltman, now it's De Jong and Dahlberg. Good play, Dahlberg holds it, tries to find Clivert who's in, who tries it first time. Come on son, you have to take a touch there. As Patricio makes a comfortable save, three clear-cut chances created to start the second half, none scored. Still a problem, De Jong wants to come off now with a bruised ankle. Don't know if I have any replacement though. Forward for Podence, but Bird gets it away. Good man, eating now. Good ball to Dahlberg. <sighs> Bit of a loose pass, Clivert does get it though. Van de Beek, eating, come on. De Jong, Dahlberg doesn't get there. No foul either by Matteo. Cointral back to Patricio who can knock it long. Dumbia picks it up, come on, we've got to do better than this. Dumbia to Podence, Akers to pick that up over the top, there's an absolute overload here and it's such an easy goal, how can they score that so easily? I have to demand more out of them, that was pathetic. There was about eight of their players in our half there. Akuna now, but Bird pinches it, knocks it long, De Jong's not going to get anywhere near it, Matteo is going to go back to the goalkeeper. Patricio knocks it out to the defender, so easy from them, we're trying to press high but we're just not getting any joy, Carvalho pokes it out wide, Martins over the top now, Dumbia's in again, Dumbia races on, shoots, puts it wide, he's finishing like one of our players there, I'm going to bring on Serhuis, he's going to play as a trequartista up front, and at this point we do need a goal, I'm going to tell him to push forward in a minute. It's been an even game, but clinical finishing has been the difference. 
I think that could be one of the problems with trying to bring the youngsters through. They're not clinical, they're not composed. Then again, Sim de Jong had a massive chance today and blew it, and he's a senior player. As Martin's angled ball goes in behind again, it's like our defenders aren't even there. As Pudence misses a sitter at the other end. And it's wave after wave now, Brian Ruiz. Gelson Martin's heads it wide. It should be about 5 0 off the chances they've had in the last five minutes here. It's whipped in again. Onana pinches it this time. If we can steal a consolation and get 2 1 back to Amsterdam, then we have a chance of going through. 2 0, I think we're out. It's long, it's easily headed away, but will be picked up. Eating acres of space for him and Van de Beek. Now it's Sim de Jong now, who needs to last the 90. Great ball through. Kaiser Huis is in, he shoots, he scores! Go on, young man! And that's what I mean by youth stepping up and taking the chance. That's his first goal, actually, for the Ajax senior squad. And it gives us a chance of going through. As long as we hold this. It was a good assist, actually, by de Jong, the senior player. Matteo pings it to Martins come on just hold 15 seconds left Martins forced to the byline and he runs it out and it will end 2-1 but we still have a chance we still have a chance and I'll take that can't fault your performances it was one of those days there we go they're happy with that as well just try to keep the morale up don't let any of their heads drop they're young players they need guidance uh, so That'll be it for episode 2 proper of this Ajax Academy challenge. You can already see, obviously, the problems we're going to have. Clinical finishing and stuff, uh, definitely a, a, an issue for us. But you can also see the promise young Kaiser, who's scoring a goal there at the end to give us a chance against Sporting. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. hope you're enjoying the concept, of course. Excuse me, as well. As I said last time out, if you want to follow the series and see the development of these young boys as they come on and start to become senior footballers you can subscribe to the channel to follow the series which I'll be eternally grateful for but I mostly just want to thank you for watching uh, if you've enjoyed the video please hit the like button and I'll see you next time we're going to be taking on Groningen and Sporting Lisbon both at home hopefully we can get a bit of momentum going with these young boys and uh, get them flying <laughs>